Roman Reigns was featured in the latest episode of the WWE A&E documentary, and we learned a lot of new things. One of the most important things we learned is that he could be potentially leaving the WWE once he loses the championship. He said this, if I'm not the top guy, then I don't want to be here. That is a concerning comment. Roman Reigns is the WWE's top star right now in the company and in all of professional wrestling. He's the most important piece of the Renaissance era. The company needs him. While it does sound like he's in character, it sounds like there could be some truth to it. Some people are speculating that this means he's not going to drop the belt to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania because he needs the belt to stay on top and that's the only way he won't leave the company. Other people, including myself, think this means he's just going to take a long break once he does drop the belt. That is what we all expected. We don't know when he will be back, but I know that return is going to go hard. I can't see him having more than a few matches a year though, which will suck. It's sad to see just how much of a part-timer Roman Reigns has become. The man used to be a workhorse. To be honest, after his match with The Rock, does he even come back? I don't know. That could be the end of Roman Reigns. I wouldn't be surprised to see an early retirement unless Roman gets the itch to get back on the road. I hope that he could become a CM Punk part-timer where he doesn't show up weekly, but he's at most PLEs. That would be awesome. But like I said, we got to wait. We got to see what happens. But the future ain't looking so bright for the Tribal Chief if he loses this Sunday at WrestleMania to Cody Rhodes. Another interesting comment he made is talking about the shield breaking up and having to become the babyface afterwards. This is what he said, and he was not happy about it. I didn't want to break up the shield, and I damn sure didn't want to be a good guy. That's exactly what was happening. I was so young on the rise. It's not like I had a nest egg built up. It's not like I had a whole bunch of options that I can just say, no, I'm not feeling this. This doesn't feel good to me, or I wouldn't say this. It was so hard to do that when you just don't have that backup, when you don't have that you money and when you just can't stand on your art and your family is depending on you your livelihood is depending on you you have to just be a good soldier and do what you're told it sounds like roman reigns was put in a position where he would fail but he had to do what he had to do for his family and the future of his career think about all those years of the wwe fans booing this man that must have hurt and he knew it was ass you can tell that this business is more than just about money to him it's about the legacy and the art that he leaves behind this entire tribal chief storyline is about him rewriting his legacy and you can really see why he tries so hard it's really sad to see the wwe put him in that position roman reigns deserved better and thankfully i'm glad he got to the point where he made enough money to do whatever he wanted and now we're seeing the best version of roman reigns not just that but he's also one of the greatest of all time i still think you can make the argument for him being the best but if he truly wants to be the number one greatest wrestler of all time i think that would require him to continue wrestling for another six or seven years roman reigns needs to win more belts he needs to tell more stories and then i think he can officially become the greatest wrestler of all time however john cena already thinks he's the goat this is what cena said about roman there's no one like him it's been a wrap since roman did it his own way roman reigns as a tribal chief is the greatest of all time i wouldn't agree but i think there's a strong argument to be made like i said roman reigns just needs to accomplish six or seven more years of accolades and tell a few more compelling stories and he's right there and finally this is the last thing i wanted to include in this video that comes from roman reigns and that documentary he said this respect my work respect what i do for this business give me my flowers now not when i'm gone i totally agree with that and that's why i've been giving him his flowers since 2020 honestly i think everyone else should as well the documentary was real good and i recommend that you check it out in other news, the WWE's Peacock special on Bray Wyatt was released today and the ending saw a teaser for Uncle Howdy and he could be returning to the WWE very soon. And according to WWE sources, the teaser at the end of the Bray Wyatt documentary was a deliberate teaser for Bo Dallas' return. One WWE rep noted that they didn't want to rush him back after Bray's passing. He's been under contract since the year of 2022. 
This would be a very interesting move from the WWE. I did not expect them to continue the angle following Wyatt's death. I don't even know if it's a great idea to be honest with you. Enough time has passed though that it doesn't feel weird. I just don't know if the story can exceed expectations without Bray Wyatt. He was a creative genius and the mastermind behind that storyline. So it might not be a good idea to kind of run it back without him. It might be a good idea to just retire the gimmick, but we gotta see because it looks like WWE is gonna continue to it with it anyways so i'm going to give it a chance and hope that they can do a good job with that storyline the wide six still has potential it could be a cool storyline let's see what ww does bo dallas was good in nxc and triple h was a big fan of his so let's see what they do Anyways, Cody Rhodes isn't going anywhere. Cody Rhodes had previously stated that he plans on retiring from wrestling at 40. However, in a new interview with Justin Walker, Rhodes confirms that he signed a multi-year WWE deal, which means retiring at 40 is now out of the question. It's good to see that the WWE finally re-signed somebody. They have so many people becoming free agents. Drew McIntyre and Becky Lynch are a couple of contracts that are set to expire very soon. Cody Rhodes was another name until this weekend and that's great just before his big match he got a big fat check and you love to see that he really deserves every penny Cody Rhodes has done so much for the WWE I don't know why he thought retiring at 40 was a good idea that's kind of cooked this man can definitely go for another decade if he wants to similar to Roman Reigns he's got a lot of work to do to rewrite his legacy he cannot retire with a legacy of being stardust and then failing in AEW no he's got to retire with multiple WWE championships and that is where he's headed so good for Cody Rhodes and his family and I hope that we can see him until he's 50. In other news Finn Balor recently suffered an injury and this is the clip that was released showing it off. It looks crazy. It looks wild. I'm sure he'll be fine by WrestleMania but this is just crazy to look at. Wishing him a speedy recovery. And finally, we have one more Ronda Rousey story to share. As I said earlier from a few videos ago, Ronda Rousey has been going off on the WWE, and this is one more story from her book. It is about her final match being one last F you to WWE and its audience. This is what she said. Somewhere in the crowd, I heard the rumblings of this is boring, but the fans weren't able to sink up from around the stadium and the chant died. I didn't even care. I expected the fans weren't going to understand it. They weren't going to appreciate it. If anything, making them sit through it was my last F you to them and the company, but it was a match that we wanted it to be, and it was a match that I was proud of, and that's all that mattered. I really don't understand why Ronda's acting very bitter towards WWE. She got a great run. She won multiple titles. She was treated as a superstar. She got the first women's main event at WrestleMania. To me, this seems very odd. Like you can hate Vince McMahon all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that he booked you well. And the same thing applies with Triple H when he took over. I just don't get it, but there's no more time for me to think about it because this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video.